Okay, now we're going to look at number 23, which is using variables in subroutines. And this is where I think we're starting to get to the slightly tricky end of things, but let's go and have a look at it. So, they've written this program here where you've, it's very simple. It asks you for your first number, it stores it as num1, it asks you for your second number, it stores it as a variable called num2. Then it runs a subroutine called find max, and then it writes the maximum number is plus max. And the subroutine, which is called find max, compares number one and num1 and num2. And if max, if sorry, if num1 is bigger than num2, then max equals num1. Otherwise, max equals num2. So that's the end of that loop. And then you end the subroutine. So that's basically what's going on when you run that. So here's what we'll do. They've given us a little demo here, but I'll run it over in the compiler. So, there we go. My first number is 34, and my second number is 88, and it correctly tells me that my um, the maximum of those two numbers is 88. And that makes perfect sense. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create another subroutine, sub, um, which is called total. And I'm going to say that... Um, num total equals um, num1 plus um, num2 and then I am going to save that and oh, sorry I'm not going to save anything I'm going to end that subroutine so every time I run the total it's going to run that little that little script there so I go up here and I say find so find I say total total and there you see it turns up as a script there we go and what I'm going to do is get it to print that total as well so text window right line brackets the total of the numbers is colon space plus, um, what do we call it, num total, num total, which it remembered, which is good. Okay, so let's see if it runs. So I've got another little subroutine that I'm running that's working with variables in there. So I run it, my first number is 10, my second number is 12, there you go, the maximum number is 12, and the total of the numbers is 22. So we are getting towards the tricky end of things, but see if you can make a modification to this program, and I'll look forward to seeing that.